Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Live with the Rockstar Flipper on a Thursday night. Appreciate everyone being here. Welcome in. Hope everyone had a wonderful week and a wonderful Thursday. Um, if you haven't ever joined me on a live show, you're new to the show. Each and every Thursday night at 9 p.m., I'm on Eastern Standard Time here from Florida. We are right here on my YouTube channel live. You can hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it, and it will tell you when I go live. Or you can just come on over to my channel uh, you know, at 9 o'clock, and you'll be a part of the show. I get a lot of comments and questions. How to join my live show, that's how you do it. And the chat window appears up there, and you just join in. So if you're not watching this, um, between 9 and about 9.45 when I go off on a Thursday night, uh, it's probably not live. It's recorded, so make sure you come back during the right time and that's how you'll know that we're live. So appreciate it. I usually give everyone about a minute or two to get into the chat room before we get started. And uh, I give a couple shout outs here, which I'm gonna do in just a second. I have a few other things I wanna go over and then we'll jump into tonight's show. About 15 or 20 minutes of me uh, chatting with you about tonight's topic, which you can probably see up in the title above me. And then uh, we'll open it up to some Q&As. You can ask me about the subject of the show. You can ask me about my business. You can ask about whatever it is you want to ask about, respectfully, of course. And uh, we'll try to cover it. So let me say some shout-outs to some people that are here in the uh, in the chat right now. Tiffany C., she's always here, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Looks like you were the first one in the chat. Welcome in, Tiffany. Good to see you. Um, Thrifty Treasures, how you doing? Lisa, John Duncan, Julia Brewer, how are you doing? Uh, let's keep rolling down. Mama J. Lewis, how are you? First time catching me live. Welcome in, Lewis. Welcome to everyone who's first time catching me live. I appreciate you. Stuff gone by 80. Awesome. Thomas Wilkinson. Good old Thomas. You guys haven't checked out Thomas. He's always here. Appreciate being here, buddy. Stacy at Right Brain Boutique. How are you? Diana has dreams. Lots of new ones. Jessica Jones. How are you doing? Gotta watch Bug Brother. Big Brother. Jessica's bailing on me for Big Brother. I understand. My friend Kim, or my friend uh, um, Kristen, always watches Big Brother. She probably bails on me too. Shanta, how you doing? Long time viewer in Shanta. Um, Biscayne Kid, how are you? Amy, Resell, Jacqueline, Iramuk, and Bill, Veronica, and lots of other new faces and returning faces. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you didn't notice above my head, I got a new, I got a second rock star, um, rock star logo sign and i just want to uh say thank you to christopher lynn uh you guys probably know him better as 10k on the bay if you haven't checked it out 10k on the bay's youtube channel he sent me this all the way from oakland california so thank you it arrived today usps priority mail appreciate you sending that over buddy so now i got i got two rock stars i got double the rock star power so thank you very much for that buddy appreciate it you didn't have to send that out and uh i'll make sure i uh, send him a message as well um, Walden Pickers, welcome in, Lance. My my wall is going to be full. I said it to someone earlier that uh, if I keep up, people are going to keep sending me rock stars. I'm going to have them all over the wall. So that's pretty funny. But thank you, Chris. Uh, make sure you do go check out his channel, 10K on the Bay, just like that, the number one zero K and on the Bay. You can check his channel out. Got a lot of videos, a lot of educational stuff, a lot of good thrifting, inventory, and business management uh, videos. Uh, I imagine he'll be in the chat um, soon. If any of you message with him, you can tell him to come in. He can see the new uh, the new sign on display. So I just put it up like an hour ago. Um, anyway, so that's a little update. Uh, and then everybody asking about Vegas, uh, the 24th through the 29th, I will be in Vegas. I am speaking on the 27th. So if you're going to Vegas, you're going to eBay Open, make sure that you message me on Facebook. It is the easiest way. And we'll get together. We'll do some photos. We'll do some video. Uh, if you want to appear here on the channel, I'll be happy to um, you know, video as part of uh, my live stream or part of my recorded uh, videos while we're in Vegas at eBay Open. So make sure you join me. I'm also going to be meeting up with Jason T. Smith. So any of you guys that are part of the thrifting board or friends with Jason or know Jason or, or talk with Jason, um, he and I have been back and forth for the last couple of weeks, and uh, we're going to be doing um, a meetup, not an a official meetup, but he and I are going to be meeting up and talking and hanging out, and I'll get some great video with Jason of the Thrifting Board. Great guy. You guys probably know him from TV or his, his uh, Facebook group. Um, you can join that as well. So that's all I got for you guys uh, today. Um, Megan Kramer going to be in Vegas. Can't wait to meet you. 
uh, clearance to thrift. If you guys are uh, in Vegas, I can meet you outside of eBay Open. I can meet you out on the strip. We can go get a drink. We can get lunch. We can get dinner. We'll do it all at one time. We'll burn down Sin City. We're, we're going to party up in Vegas. It's going to be our time. So make sure you message me. Jamie Pace, what's going on, buddy? So that's all my news from today. That's all I got going on for that side. Let's move into the topic of the show because I'm going to get some people that say, you know, oh, five minutes of rambling. Yeah, whatever. Um, retail shopping. So you guys saw the show or the video that I put up um, day before about True Religion. True Religion closing retail stores, not all of them, but uh, most of them. And they're keeping their presence inside of like, uh, Nordstrom's and Dillard's and Neiman Marcus and Barney's and uh, Bloomingdale's, all the big high-end stores that they are, you know, agreements with where they display their products and sell their products. And the reason that they uh, are doing that is because an average retail mall store, um, you know, especially like, I don't know, here in Florida, it's, it's obviously a lot different in other states, New York, LA, all that, but it can be thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 in overhead for like a typical, you know, 1500 square foot, 1000 square foot, whatever it is, whatever it amounts to true religion retail store. And that goes for any store in the mall. So, I mean, the little kiosks in the mall are like 3000 bucks to rent. So those stores are easily four and five times that amount in rent. And I know they get some deals, but just assume that they're spending $15,000 a month in rent. They've got employees, they've got electric, they've got internet, they've got insurance, they've got all these costs that raise their overhead expense of a retail mall or strip mall to $30,000, $40,000. That's the reason that stores are closing and filing bankruptcy. They're not going out of business. There's a difference, a big difference, guys. I hope you guys understand the difference in bankruptcy and going out of business. So Radio Shack is out of business. They cease to exist. You cannot find a Radio Shack store anywhere. If you can, please point it out to me. They're not available online. Like you can still buy their products, but it's not direct from Radio Shack. It's liquidation. So bankruptcy just means they're making a deal with their creditors. Essentially, they're taking all their credit together. They're going through bankruptcy court and they're going to work out a deal to what they call restructure their debt. And that gives them an ability, just like if you had 10 credit cards and you put it all together, try to get discounts, try to work your way out of it, make payments. And in return, you have to change your business plan, essentially. And so that's how bankruptcy, a short story works for business bankruptcy. And their change of business is to close the retail that's eating away at their profits and do online or what is basically consignment inside of a Neiman Marcus where they can make less margin, but they don't have to pay all that rent and all that employee and all that. Neiman Marcus takes care of it in exchange for a cut of the sales. So it works out better for them. And that's what um, and that's what they are. Now, K. Rillen is saying chapter 11 reorganization, chapter seven total liquidation. Absolutely 100% correct. So um, our rent, Erin is saying she used to manage a retail store. Rent in the mall varied 10 to 15 grand. Exactly correct. So that is, that is right. Rent in a mall could easily be three or four times the kiosk, 12, $15,000. So um, so with that being said, we understand, and I hope everyone understands now why a lot of these stores are closing the brick and mortar. And I've got a bunch of, um, stores here, um, that I can go down that in 2017 are closing a ton of stores. And I'll link this down below, but, uh, CVS closed 70 stores, Staples closed 70 stores, GameStop, 150 stores, HH Greg out of business, all 220 stores. Um, Gander Mountain, instead of closing, they sold their cells to Marcus Limonis of Camping World. You guys are probably familiar with him and his TV show, The Prophet. Sold. BCBG, 120 stores. American Apparel, 110 stores. Um, Wet Seal, The Limited, Crocs. We can go on and on. Guests with 60 stores. Radio Shack, 1,100 stores, gone. Rue 21 and Rue Guy, 400 stores, gone. BB, Payless, closing 500 stores. So this brick and mortar overhead is just eating people up. Jimboree, 450 stores. It's like half of their stores. They only have 1,000 stores. Uh, the Asenia Group, which Tom Wilkinson pointed out, is um, Ann Taylor, Dress Barn, Lane Bryant, Justice, and several others. Hundreds of stores, 268 stores. Macy's and JCPenney, of course, uh, closed um, dozens of stores and Sears and Kmart and then the true religion brand. So I'll link that story down below for you guys. All these stores 
closing many, many retail locations. So it's kind of scary. Um, chapter 11 is restructuring. A majority of these stores are restructuring debt. And in order for them to be able to justify to the creditors how they're going to pay the debt off, they have to eliminate expenses. And that's the brick and mortar and that's the overhead that they're, um, they're getting rid of. So a lot of people ask me, like, what does this mean? How does this affect us? What, what does this mean for the stores? Are they going out of business? And the answer is no, they're not going out of business. Most of them, some of them are. But um, yeah, Leanne's got a great point. There's a lot of broken down buildings. I just had this conversation um, with, uh, with somebody just the other day about, imagine what it's gonna be like when these 5,000, 10,000 stores are closed empty real estate everywhere, commercial real estate, mind you. It's kind of scary and it's, it's, it makes sense. And here's my thought on it. And, um, and it's basically, uh, you know, the old, the old school supply and demand only works for so long. Okay. So let's take true religion for an example, true religion jeans. What do they cost? 300 bucks a pair. I don't even own true religion jeans because I will not pay $300 for jeans that I destroy. I cringe at the hundred dollars I pay for jeans at men's warehouse, like silver jeans or things like that, or lucky brand. $300 for a pair of jeans. Let's put this in perspective. An average American family after taxes and insurance, an employee wage only makes enough to buy two pair of jeans, $600 a week. That's $30,000 a year. Nobody's going to go drop half their paycheck on a pair of jeans. It's just not going to happen. They're going to go on eBay and buy a used pair for 50 or they're going to go to Walmart or they're going to go to Abercrombie and pay 50 bucks or 60 bucks. There's no way people are going into these luxury brands and paying $300. Rich people, sure, they might go in there and do it. Of course, there's always people to support a brand. But that's not enough of the market to support $30,000 in retail, overhead, rent, cost, expenses, et cetera, in the mall. It's just not gonna happen. And then you're talking about 27 stores. So my math's really bad, but what is that? Like $700,000 at an average of 30,000 per store? $810,000. $810,000 a month. That's $9.6 million a year in overhead just to have those brick and mortar stores. Just a thought. So that's why I see retail failing, especially luxury retail. So that's kind of my thoughts about it. I'm interested in what you guys have to say about it. And I'm, I'm reading the chat and it's, it's going pretty quick. So I'll, I'll get some of the comments out of there about why retail is dead, why it's failing. And there are a lot of stores that are doing very good. I read another article on the flip side about stores like PetSmart. PetSmart is, is like thriving right now because there's no real competition. There's only two or three pet stores. You got PetSmart, Petco, and Pet Supermarket. And that's all something that we go into the store to buy. I buy my dog's dog food. I go into the store. I buy dog treats. I go into the store. I'm not going on Amazon or eBay to buy dog food and dog treats. Although I probably could, it's just not something that I'm doing. And like advanced auto, you need a car part for your car. You go into advanced auto and buy the brake pads. Guys that do it theirself. Tons of DIY guys that are going to, you know, do the repairs theirself and not pay a shop. So Another store, Advanced Auto, is thriving in this market. So there are still a lot of brick and mortar retail stores doing very, very well. But for the most part, the clothing retail is doing really bad. So that's going to kind of transition us into the second part of my talk. And that is, is this good for us? Is this bad for us? How does this affect us, et cetera, et cetera? Leanne says, only Starbucks is safe. That's really funny. Um, Chewy.com for pet food. Land, or Layden has a great point. Chewy.com has come out of nowhere in the last six months and they are giving PetSmart a run for their money. Chewy.com is doing it right. I still think there's enough customer base to support the retail in-store um, you know, sales for PetSmart. Um, O'Reilly's does well. Sports Authority failed, didn't Sports Authority fail? I can't remember. Um, I ate my dog, so no problem. That's not funny. Open a gas station. Yeah, there's a few fail-safe uh, businesses. You can certainly open a gas station and Starbucks. It seems like we can't get enough oil and gas and enough Starbucks. No doubt about it. Can't you open a Starbucks franchise for like $250,000 plus the build-out? I think it's worth doing because doesn't an average Starbucks do like fifteen dollars or 20000 a day in sales? 
I heard that a busy average Starbucks does like 15 to 20 grand a day in sales. That's uh, what, 20,000 to 600 grand a month in sales, 6 million. I'm sure like the average decent ones probably do three or 4 million. You guys can look that up, but for spending 250 plus a $250,000 build out, 500 grand in cash to do, you know, I don't know, say 4 million in sales at 30% profit is a, uh, what? 10% for 1.2 million, you could get your money back in a year. I heard that somewhere that Starbucks gets you your money back in a year, two years top. So, you know, anyways, um, those are kind of my, uh, you know, thoughts, feelings on stores that are succeeding, stores that are not, um, and then how it affects us. So how this is gonna affect us is I think very positive. If there's less retail to go to, it's gonna push more and more people to online sales. Are they going to go and buy used off of eBay? Probably, at least some part of them. A lot of them are going to go to the online sites because remember, True Religion is not going out of business. They're going to sell online. You could still go to True Religion's site and you can still buy jeans. But it's no different than going into the store and paying three hundred because there's still three hundred dollars on the website. So this is going to turn people off to a lot of that. I think it's going to funnel business into the um, online eBay, Amazon world. I just think it's going to happen. I think it's going to benefit us positively. Um, and it's also going to remove competition. We are competing with retail. You know, it's always a competition to get customers to come to online as opposed to retail. So I think it helps us twofold. Definitely do. I'd love to hear your opinions. And if you're watching this video when we're not live, you're not in the chat, please leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this because it's important. It's important to us as resellers of what the world and what the market is doing. It means something. It really does. And everyone can tell because summer slowdown, fourth quarter buildup, all that stuff affects us, directly affects us. All right, so I'm gonna jump over to the chat now and I'm going to start reading some of the comments that you guys have put and I'm also gonna start opening up to Q&A here in just a few minutes. So let's go over to the chat and see what we've got going on. Um, I buy everything online, Ramona says, including the food, which is true, I buy everything but food online. Um, D show, my lease was up, landlord wanted 33,000 a month. Yeah, forget that. The antique stores are having difficulty meeting or making it. It's true, a lot of antiques selling online. Um, I love Chewy.com, that's where I get my dog food. I have not used Chewy.com, but I think I might start using it. A pizza place and a bank are safe. That's true, <laughs> tacos. Um, as long as we can still buy food, I say put it all online. Chick-fil-A, they're always busy. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is a killer. Gas stations do make three cents profit on a gallon of gas. That's true. They're trying to make money on you on the food. Um, there were two radio shacks near me. I'll double check if they're still there. I think they're all gone. Yeah, real estate is a retail failing because they rent their real estate. That's a very good point. Um, you know, paying, you could have bought the retail space. That's true. Funeral parlors, <laughs> Richard, Richard Pickerel is the, uh, positive, positive side, the glass half full here. He's saying the, the funeral parlors are always busy. That's true. Um, used car dealership, flipping cars. Yeah. Cars are always needed. Um, used car dealerships have been, um, you know, around as long as time has been. I mean, since the forties, fifties, I mean, you guys remember those old school ones? Use Chewy, they're amazing. I'm gonna start giving Chewy.com. Um, I sell discs only DVDs. Hey Rockstar, hey Justin. Just use Chewy this this week, good deals. Drone shipments. I don't know how drone shipments are gonna work out. Um, QVC bought HSN. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Thomas Wilkinson had mentioned that Ascension, the people that own Dress Barn and Antel and all that, their stock did drop to 210. If you're uh, invested in them, sell. <laughs> They're going out of business. Um, let's see what else. Buy online, pay bills online. I don't remember the last time I wrote a check. I have never written a check for a bill in my life. I have written checks for like my lawn guy. I've written checks for other things, but never for bills ever. Um, I use nothing but cash when I'm offline. I don't use cash unless it's like a valet or at a bar. Sometimes I'll run my card. And if it's like a $40 check, I'll leave them like, you know, a $10 bill or a $15 bill or, you know, 15, 10 and five, whatever. Um, Megan Kramer, you should be able to use photo R us on a desktop PC. If you can't use, uh, it's called collage factory, collage factory free or the premium edition. 
Either one of those should work. Um, tracking number, Sam Hagens. I'm going to open it up to Q&A so you guys can get some questions answered. Uh, Sam Hagens, how do you provide two tracking numbers if someone wants to combine shipping on two items? You will print the label for the first item and then copy and paste the tracking number into the second item. Hugh made a really great point, and this is outside of resellers. A lot of people check the online price of an item while they're out retail shopping. And they're willing to wait a few days if the price is significantly different. Even just like five bucks is sometimes enough. And again, it depends on the product. If I'm out of bubble wrap and we have to have bubble wrap, I'm going to go buy it. I'm not going to wait for it to come. The problem with that is in a dire situation where your business needs something or your dog needs food, almost more times than not, you know, you're prepared and you've already got the stuff ordered or you're far enough ahead that you don't have to have it tonight. I don't wait till my dogs are, you know, dog food is gone and the bowls are empty to decide, oh, my dogs need food in the morning. I'm going to have to run to Walmart tonight at midnight and get them food so they can eat breakfast in the morning. I know that the dogs have a week's worth of dog food left. So I know I need to start preparing to buy that stuff. So the two-day wait from Amazon is no big deal. Um, Thrilla Gorilla Picker, thank you so much. Jamie, I didn't see your question. Put it out again. I missed it. Richard Pickerall, I have never had a competitor leave me negative feedback that I know of. All of my negative has been either idiots or legitimate. So I don't think I've had a competitor do it. Uh, it's hard to deal with. There isn't really anything you can do about it. I'll be honest. Ramen Noodle Thrifter says that Amazon stocks the dog food next to Frito-Lays. <laughs> he won't buy food because it's so dusty. That's funny. Uh, Mark Adamick, when you buy inventory at a garage sale to track the cost of goods, you need to get a receipt book, one of the ones from Walmart or Office Depot, and you need to write down the date, uh, the item you're buying, the price, sign it, and if you can, write the address or the neighborhood you are in. As much information helps, and those receipts need to be filed right next to your normal um, Goodwill receipt. If you have a receipt from Goodwill and you're putting this in a folder for your taxes at the end of the year, your receipt book, peel that receipt book out, stick it on the June, you know, the July 6 folder, and then that's your purchasing. So that's how you handle uh, cash purchases. If it's off Craigslist, if it's off OfferUp, all the same thing, and that will uh, suffice. Have I ever been to the Dillard's Outlet in Tampa University Mall? A very long time ago. Long time ago. Uh, Evermore, thanks to your knowledge, I sag, snagged six pair of seven for all mankind jeans today for 20 bucks. Very nice, $3, awesome. Do I, Jen DeLeon has a great question. Do I think that the true religion jean price on eBay is going to go up? I believe that it will, and here's why. There's less places to buy it. You can no longer buy it in retail. You have to buy it offline, which is going to force everyone to go online, unless it's in you know, unless you have a Barney's or a Dillard's or a Nordstrom near you, most of us do, but it's going to make more people go online to get them, which is going to give them the thought of checking eBay. So I think it will go up. Uh, Jamie says, uh, when all the stores close, they'll be replaced with Asian, re uh, Jamie's trolling again. He's got to go. <laughs> anyways um yeah thomas bought his mannequins at macy's and university uh mall when they bit the dust another great tip that thomas just pointed out when these stores go out of uh, business you can google their name and the list of the locations that are going out of business and if the location is near you get the date call them and find out what date they're going out so you can show up and buy their mannequins their jewelry cabinets their displays their signage their lighting any of the leftover merchandise, there's a ton of stuff to buy. So there's always a chance to get a great deal. Um, Thrifty Treasures, the chat does move a little fast sometimes. Uh, Daisy Profits, uh, they're supposed to get three days to pay for any item on eBay. If they don't, you can open an unpaid item case. Clothes racks, yeah, Thomas, exactly right. When stores go out of business, they'll sell you the racks, they'll sell you the mannequins, they'll sell you everything. Um, the jewelry counters, definitely. D Dola, how goes your venture into bulk buying? Well, I did a video on the wholesale bulk buying that me and Chris did, so you can check that out. And uh, definitely going to um, 
to be buying some more ball coming soon. I'm kind of waiting till we get closer to fourth quarter to do it. Uh, ramen noodle, burn it. Don't sell it. You could get in trouble. Even on Craigslist, they troll Craigslist for fakes. Be careful of that. Ecom tips. It always creeps my dates out when I have mannequins in my apartment. I have come out to the kitchen to get a drink at night and forgot our mannequin was still up and scared the crap out of myself. So yeah, definitely take them down. Um, when stores go out, you can buy everything but the employees. Mandy Anderson, that's almost true. Definitely. Uh, keep an eye out for everything that's going out of business. Hey, there's Terry Berry in the chat. What's going on, Terry? How you doing? She's one of our admins. If you guys haven't been here before. Nature Girl, I think with the coming recession and a lot of brick and mortar stores closing down, you're absolutely right. It's going to help online sellers. At least I hope so. Jeez, I hope. Thrilla Gorilla Picker, they might not be serious. Be careful of that. Thrifting is not going to die. The more retail that close or the retail stores that close should help us on the thrifting side. I hope it does. Chris Magnelli, great point. People at the flea markets with fake purses will get busted eventually. I've seen it happen more times than I, uh, I care to notice. Lori, I wouldn't raise the prices yet, but keep an eye on solds over the next few weeks. Inks and Threads, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome in. JCPenney stores are closing. Uh, yep, yeah, Tom saw those. It's just a market evolving. It's kind of the ebb and flow of the market. And it's true right now because people are trying to be thrifty. Like thrifty and minimalism is huge right now. So people are really trying to save money and not spend it in any way unnecessary. So saving $100 on clothes or $200 or $300 is a huge deal to people right now. And people are also protecting their money. The whole world being in turmoil always causes people to protect their money. So remember that. The world is in a really you know, touch and go situation right now, even though a war or a crazy maniac or, you know, world problems or economic problems doesn't directly affect us. It does trickle down to us because people want to protect money and be safe. So, um, although if we got hit with a nuke by some crazy guy, I don't believe that $5,000 in cash in your bank account, it's really going to make a difference, but that's how people feel. So, um, yeah, people don't pay full retail with the good stuff we find thrifting. Aaron Young, another great point. With the rise of social media, it's presented the thrifting world and the thrifting um, products that we get out to the real world that didn't otherwise know that it was available. So that's a great point, really great point. Uh, apparently, Tiffany had a great question. Let me scroll up and see it. Did you ever live in a small town? If so, how did you get inventory? I can get some great things in the Catholic church, but I do not have much more than that. Facebook groups are ridiculous. Tiffany, great question. So I have not lived in a small town. I lived just outside of Baltimore when I was a teenager growing up, and I've lived in Tampa ever since. So I thankfully do not have that problem. I'm sure there are some people here that do have um, that problem. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, I can't speak on that. Um eBay is turning into what Amazon was 2015, 2016. That, that's true. Troy, any plans for a reseller lunch in Las Vegas with the eBay conference? Um, we didn't plan anything. And with it being a couple weeks away, I think I'm just going to meet up with people that message me on Facebook. I'll be happy to meet with you. Um, maybe I'll announce that I'm getting lunch the day before in Vegas for like Tuesday. And then we can all meet up and have lunch if you're there. Um, something like that. So... Adam, thank you so much. Yep, Lindy is uh, is going to be in Vegas. So if you guys are going to be in Vegas, you'll be able to meet her as well. And I believe that Megan Reed said she'll be in Vegas. Jason T. Smith will be in Vegas. Lots of big faces are going to be there. It's awesome. Um, not sure who else will be there, but I know Jason, Megan, Lindy, Stephanie. Love Always by Stephanie. If you haven't checked her channel out, please go. She'll be there. I'll be there. Lots of great faces will be there. I think that's about all. I think they got pretty much all the important people covered there. I think they didn't invite Luke. I can't imagine they invited, didn't invite Luke or any of those guys, but you know, it happened. Sorry guys. I wish you were being there. I wanted to meet everyone. Um, yards, uh, Tiffany, I would say yard sales and garage sales. Use the yard sale app. If you're in a small town, it's gotta be helpful. Miners treasures. Absolutely. Reach out to us. We're going to be hanging out a little bit. Adam, I believe she is going. She announced it. Yes. If you give me $100, will you answer all my questions? I'll be happy to answer your questions 
for no $100. Uh, you can watch my videos and send me a couple messages. I'll help you out. Um, no spike in returns. I've had a couple of returns, but no spike in returns. Um, inventory is the easiest part. Uh, lay, I look online arbitrage, but it sits. Um, I wish I still lived in Vegas. Yeah, Tiffany, be awesome to, uh, to meet everyone. The more people, the merrier. Um, R. Warren, I do not believe that is correct. I believe that is false. Yeah, paying retail for anything is crazy. Uh, Richard Pickerall, eBay ID is linked down below um, in the description box. This is my ID, but if you could um, use the link down below for anybody that did want to check out my eBay store. The link is directly down below. It's my eBay affiliate link. So if you go on there and you buy from me or buy from any other eBayer after using that link, I will get credit for it. It helps me. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Along with all the links for Amazon down there is all the products that I use. It's everything you guys see me use from my microphone and camera, the lighting kit I use for photos and video. I use these for all my eBay photos. I use this. Um, everything that I use on a daily basis, our scale, everything is down below. If you ever need any of that stuff, please, by all means, buy it through those links and uh, it will help me out. And I appreciate that. I really do. Um, let's see what else. The Vegas MGM Grand. That is where we are staying. Uh, we will be at the MGM Grand. The light kit, Chris, is a dream. I love the light kit. You guys see how bright it is on me having that light kit. Let me show you. A lot of people have been asking recently, too, that we're not around for the original light kit um, display, but how much better the light kit makes videos and picture. Let me show you guys. You can probably still hear me, but let me show you guys what it looks like without the light. You see that? You see the difference? And then with the light. So you, you can tell how much better it is when you take your photos for eBay or Amazon with that light. And if you're doing YouTube um, versus not the light. So um, update on the pieces I purchased from my friend clearance to thrift. Yes, they have been selling very well. I will do a video uh, clearance on some of the items that have sold and, uh, and do an update for that. Absolutely. The wattage Jamie was 750 for a set of two, I believe. Check me on that. You can use the link down below for the light kit and it'll tell you the wattage. I can't remember exactly, but I think it's 750. Um, yeah, somebody sent me a screenshot of Vegas today on Instagram. It's 111, 111 degrees today. So whew, it's going to be it's that dry desert heat though. Remember that, dry desert heat. Lots of sunscreen, right? All over. Do you know they had to take out the walkway of the mouth of the lion because it offended the Asians? No, I did not know that. Um, Tennessee Grand, seventeen twenty nine for a dollar oh six PayPal fee. Why? Because they charge thirty cents for the um, for the transaction fee, and then your point two nine percent was fifty. So it should have been eighty cents. But if it was an international buyer, sometimes they charge a little more. James Miller Band, yeah, I those are like people that failed in the thrifting business. It could happen, but not sure. Um, yeah, over 100 degrees is hot AF. Manny Anderson, great point. Um, Vegas has I want to thank you very much, Rockstar, Reagan Bonafide, who made this eBay. Craving guy, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'll let the guys know. Yeah, ramen noodle thrifter. You got to make sure you got good lighting. You got to make sure you got good stuff. Uh, I've never used Ink Frog. It's really glitchy. Uh, I know I've watched people use it. It's just not for me. There are better programs, but Inkfrog is pretty much free, I think, right? Or cheap. The other ones are expensive. Esteban, uh, if you invest a thousand dollars, if you're investing a thousand, I do fifty percent margin, so I'll make five hundred profit on it, which would turn it into fifteen hundred dollars. That's after fees, shipping, material, all that good stuff. Um, Chicago Bull fan, we go over the shipping a lot. Uh, I prefer free shipping on my buy it nows and I charge shipping on my auctions. Um, it's totally up to you. Free shipping will move you up in the ranking. So play around with it and figure out what works best. What would you do if I was Amazonia and I was going to buy you? Uh, who's Amazonia? Um, Adam, I have been to the gold and silver pawn shop in Vegas before. I have spent... Uh, about an hour at the shop. I did not meet Rick or Chumley or Big Hoss or any of them. They were not there. 
Um, but I'm going to go back and hopefully uh, I'll get to meet one of the guys. I don't think they spend very much time at the shop anymore. The gold and silver pawn shop in, uh, in Vegas, it's off the strip. It's not actually on the strip. So uh, you have to, um, you have to go out outside of town just a little bit, but uh, yeah, I have been there. I have some photos of me there. Um, but yeah, I, I love Vegas. Vegas is awesome. I do all buy it nows and I send stuff that doesn't sell to auctions. Make sure if you are doing free shipping, you're including as much of the price of that shipping in your um, cost of your item. That's absolutely right. I just saw somebody put that over in the chat. Um, and uh, I can't wait. I, I'm interested to see how many people show up to Vegas eBay Open. It's my first time at Vegas, my first time at eBay Open. I'm interested to see how the show goes. I'm excited to chat. I, I thank you, Angela Diffley, for inviting me, for extending that to me. I know that it's an honor. I know that it's humbling. And I know that not everybody got that invitation and is getting to attend. Um, so I really appreciate that. It means more than anything to me. Uh, my guys, Greg and Ryan from the live show that I did, it looks like they're going to be there. I actually have an email from the guys. Um, I'm going to check a little later tonight and, uh, I didn't read it yet, but I can't wait to go to Vegas. Like it's absolutely a dream. And, uh, I've been to Vegas, but not for this. Rick's restorations and count customs in Vegas. Yeah, I should, uh, I should definitely go, uh, check those guys out too. Um, they had to build a fake set next door to the gold and silver pawn shop. That's true. I did hear that. Um, I'm going to be filming in Vegas. Uh, we're going to do recorded videos to obviously publish at night when I go to the hotel, but we're also going to do um, live shows. I've got permission from eBay, from Angela to film live uh, my talk and inside the MGM Grand where we're staying, where the talk is, where the conference is. We've got permission to film everything. So it's going to be really exciting. And I'm looking for a few pictures for you guys to show you. We stayed at the MGM Grand last time we were there and I've actually just found them. Um, and give me just a second and I'll show you guys, uh, I'll show you guys exactly where we stayed and what we, I actually bought Rick's license to pawn book while I was there. Um, and the MGM Grand is a great, uh, great hotel, awesome place, a lot of fun. Um, and we, uh, we had a good time. We went for a wireless trade show last time. So, uh, it was fun. It was a good time. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got a couple. I got a few of the pictures. I'll try to show you guys. So this was inside Toby Keith's uh, I Love That Bar, or I Love This Bar, or whatever it's called. Look at that. That was 100 ounces of burger and fries. Can you guys see that? I think you guys can see that. You guys can see that, right? So that was a pretty cool little uh, thing. And then um, let's keep scrolling. Uh, there's the Vegas Strip. And uh, inside the hotel room, the MGM's got nice hotel rooms. This was a couple years ago, mind you. Uh, so nice hotel room for the Vegas Strip. There's inside the reception hall of the MGM Grand. Me and my buddy Matt having some drinks, the club. And then, uh, yeah, just basically, you know, there's where we stayed. For those of you that haven't been to Vegas, I know most of you probably have. It's a good time. It's a fun time. I'm thoroughly going to enjoy it. Trust me, I will film everything except the things I can't film for you guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a few adult beverages while filming. I'll take the adult beverages while I'm filming, but after I'm done the beverages, we're going to have to cut the film for sure. So anyways, uh, Chicago Bulls fan, if you're getting a basic store, get it after 50. If you're getting a, uh, a premium store, it's after 400. Uh, what shows up on your shipping label, your real name or your store name under your eBay thing? It is under your real name. Uh, Bearded Thrifter, the link to my store is down below. Uh, where's Jamie's babysitter? I don't know where his babysitter is. Terry was here. Yeah, eBay Open. That's what we're talking about. It's eBay Open in Vegas. Super excited. Uh, MGM Grand. I will be there July 24th, the morning of around 11 a.m. through the 29th. I leave at like 5 p.m. on the 29th. That's Monday through Friday. I speak on Thursday, the rest of the week, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night after the speech. I will be uh, free to party. So please come out, hang out in Vegas with us. I appreciate it, guys. Um, I do do uh, a lot of best offers, mid GF fig. Appreciate it. Anyways, so uh, that's our little talk for the night. It's been like 40 minutes. I've been live. I've taken up a lot of your guys' time. I appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate you watching. There are 240 of you. Make sure you press the like button. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. 
Um, if you don't remember, when we get to 50,000 subs, which I'm about to hit 40, so we're getting close next month, then maybe two months, um, we're doing a giveaway for the whole week when I hit 50,000 subs. We're going to give away seven prizes, uh, each one increasing in price during the week. So help me get to 50,000 subs. Share my channel, my videos with as many of your friends, family, thrifters, acquaintances, business partners that you can. Let's get to 50,000 so that I can do that giveaway. I'm super excited to do giveaways. Seven days of giveaways, increasing price of giveaways every single day until the very special seventh day um, after I hit 50,000. So that's what we have in plan for the next few months. And uh, appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you hit the like button. It's really, really helpful to me as well. It helps get my view or my um, videos up in the search rankings. I don't get paid any more money for likes, but it helps me get higher in the search rankings. So um, that's what's important. It gets in front of as many people as I can, and it means a lot to me. So thank you again. As always, eBay link to my store down below. That's my affiliate. All my products are linked through Amazon. The Facebook group, if you want to join it and get more information about where I'll be, where I'm talking, all that, that's down below as well, and that should be everything that you guys need. Enjoy it. Leave your comments if you're watching later about retail. Tell me what you think about retail stores closing, going out of business, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll read them all a little bit later tonight and get back to you guys. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful Thursday. TGIF tomorrow. Be back with you. Bye, guys.